Hello and welcome to another episode of What's Inside. Today we're looking at three packs from Dragon Ball Z Awakening. These are the five packs. Um, these are usually found at dollar stores or discount outlets. There are regular packs of these that have 12. Uh, but I've had really good luck with these little mini packs because I tend to get a lot of foils out of them. And I really like foils. I don't really care about the rest of the cards. So... These are put out by Panini in association with Funimation and were put out in 2016. Uh, Dragon Ball Z Awakening. Each pack contains five total cards, two to three commons, two uncommons, and a rare. Um, the rare might be one to five chance. I'm not sure how to read this. But the whole set has 60 commons, 40 uncommons, 40 rares, six ultra rares, and 171 starter deck cards. So, uh, yeah, these could be really cool. Let's see what we've got in here. Maybe we'll pull some foils or something. Let's find out. I've had really good luck, like I said, with these uh, dollar store cards, especially with Pokemon. I've gotten some really cool foils out of those. So let's hope my luck holds up on these as well. All right, there's the back of the card. Uh, first up, we've got a uh, Saiyan Keyweb, Kaiweb. Now we've got a Red Repel. Vegeta's Final Flash. We've got a Red Scanning Drill. And lastly, a Cell Junior. Now, does it say rarity on these? Yes, this is uncommon. It's got a U up there. So you're going to get commons and uncommons mostly. Uh, this one's a rare, this Vegeta's Final Flash. So, yeah. Let's look at pack number two. Alright, first up we've got Orange Jade. Then we've got Red Takeover. Uh, Cyan Despair. Red Pummel. And Cell Junior Taunting, level 1. Alright, so uh, Despair was our rare there. Cyan Despair. And uh, yeah, so we've, we've got two rares. So, looks like there's a rare in every pack, probably. Let's check out our third pack. I'm sad there's no foils, but you can't always get them. And I got that super cool rare one on the Pokemon not that long ago, so. Uh, we got a blue Patience. We've got Black Energy Beam. Namekin Inheritance. I'm sure I pronounced that wrong. Uh, but that's our rare. Ooh. We got Cell Junior Trapped, level one. And lastly, Black Confinement Setup. All right, so that'll give you kind of an idea of what you can expect in these packs. But what I like about these is if you've got a buck or two and you don't have enough to get a regular booster pack and you're near a dollar store, you can go down and pick these up. I got, I think I got these at the Dollar Tree. Uh, so yeah, I mean, um, yeah, it's, it, it's a nice way to get some cards if you've got very little money and you say you've got a starter pack, but you can't afford to buy boosters on a regular basis. This is a good way to do it. So you get a rare a couple commons and uncommons. It's really the way to go in my opinion. So if you can't afford a, a normal booster, you might as well like get some new cards and boost up your deck and make yourself competitive but that is what is inside the Dragon Ball Z Awakenings five card boosters um, not much else to say so that'll do it for this episode as always thank you for watching and you'll get kind of an idea of what you can expect and uh, we hope to see you next time on what's inside